everybody it's Doreen and I'm back today with one of the Father's Day cards that I needed to make for Father's Day now this is not going to be a series like I've done in the past because I've cut down on some of the cards that I make for the different holidays so we are using the silhouette and there is just a little bit of paper piecing in this but it's not that much I guarantee you it's a quick and easy and simple card and this is actually one of the Silhouette Studio file cards and it is a Jamie Lane card or file and I will put a link down in the description bar below of where you can get this on the Silhouette store and she also has a written tutorial on how to put the card together but as I said it's a really simple and quick and easy card so you should be okay putting it together without having to follow her instructions but please do go to her site and visit some of the things that she's done and she takes a lot of her silhouette files and she does written tutorials so I'll put the link to her tutorial on how to put this card together also in the description bar so what does our card look like for today this is the card that we will be making and we will be using the print and cut feature for the inside sentiment you don't have to do that if you want to just rubber stamp your sentiment in the inside or you want to do a handwritten sentiment you can do that as well so come on and join me and I'm gonna show you how to put this card together okay everybody so we're gonna get started and bring our supplies up so we can get started making our first card now this is just gonna be a two card Father's Day series. It's not going to be a real long one because I don't have to make as many cards this year. I've kind of cut down on how many cards that I'll be making because I'm working on some other projects. So I've gone ahead and cut out everything and this is really simple to cut out so I'm not going to show you how to cut it out on and lay it on your mat. So this is the card base and I went ahead and inked my edges using the Tim Holtz Distress Ink and this time I'm using the Gathered Twigs. So the next thing we need to do is go ahead and add our little uh, pegboard. So we're going to just line this up and match it up. Now we have to leave enough room to get our wording down here at the bottom. So I think what I'm going to do is put my wording down first and then I'll add my pegboard. So the world's best dad is going to go down here and it cut the dad piece. Oh, I'm sorry. That doesn't go on there. That goes, the dad piece goes on here. because that's what you're going to attach to your pegboard. So we just need to get those pieces lined up along here and add them to this little square. Now I'll glue that together and put that together off camera because you don't need to see me putting that together. So I'll do that at the end when I'm ready to um, show you the final piece of the card. So the world's best is what you want to have down here at the bottom. So now this is a little bit of paper piecing. You're going to put your um, screwdriver and hammer pieces together. So once you've cut those out, you're basically going to cut your hammer out and then you're going to put color, cut the handle the color that you want it. Okay, everybody, what I went and did was I decided to go ahead and just add my um, The World's Best. So you didn't have to see me gluing that together. I just went and did that off camera. So then I kind of just added it down here at the bottom. And then I also went ahead and put my other pieces together So and put my um, foam tape because I want those to pop up on the back. So there we have our wrench, our hammer, a screwdriver, and I believe this is an Allen wrench, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not that great with tools. And then you have your pliers. So all of our pieces are already put together. 
and then I added my dad and I went and glued that on so the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna put our pegboard on here and you're just gonna line this up and this is actually the frame piece from here so that's what's gonna be back behind here for your pegboard and no it does not fit all the way edge to edge but it does fit on there and works on there properly so what you want to do is just get your glue along the edges here and what I'm gonna try to do is this tape is from this tape runner is supposed to not go through the holes so we're gonna test this out at least that's what they said when I saw it being demoed on HSN so we're gonna try this and I got this as a gift from Skylar so thank you Skylar and I'm just gonna bring up this because I want to see if this is really going to work now we're only gonna put it like I said on the edges so I'm gonna line it up here and I'm gonna go all the way around and see if I can stay out of the little holes or see if the tape will go in the holes and it looks like it didn't so I guess it does really does really work so we'll just add that piece to this piece and as I said it will not basically go edge to edge but it will fit on there so now we have our little pegboard and we can add the pegboard to our card and we're going to line it up here so I think what I want to do is I do want to pop this up a little bit so I'm going to get some foam squares on here you know I love dimension next to what everybody knows which is that's right I love my bling but I also like to pop things up so I just want to see how this is going to look sitting up here like this and I like the way that looks so we'll just add that and this one is a real quick and simple one and it, like there is a little bit of paper piecing but it's very very small amount should take you no time to put these pieces together and I'm just gonna lay this down on my card so now the next thing I want to do is I think we'll add our inside sentiment so what I've done is just taken something that I've gotten I believe I got this out of one of my books that has um, sentiments for the different holidays and I did a print and cut and I also did where I changed the color of the background and this piece of paper is just a regular old piece of um, copy paper and I thought the wording was fitting for this card because it basically says dad's tools dependable faith in God dedication stability fairness pride love these are the things that make a great dad and then I just signed it love my name and my husband's name so I just thought that was a fitting sentiment to match the theme of the outside of the card so rather than using my HEG gun I'm just gonna use the combo and I'm gonna put my inside sentiment in here and get that down so the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and start adding my tools so I'm gonna do that off camera and I'm gonna come back with the finished card and the envelope okay everybody one more thing I forgot we need to put our frame that goes along here now you must or you don't you don't must but you should put this frame on before if you're gonna use dimensionals before you put your dimensionals on so put your frame piece on then put your dimensionals and then add it to the card so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'm gonna come back with the finished card okay everybody so I'm back with the finished card so this is what I've done 
I went ahead and added all of my tools on the pegboard and then I just took some of these candies and just sporadically added those to look like thumbtacks and I put one here along the piece that's supposed to look like a piece of paper and then I made it look like there was a thumbtack there as well and then I've already added the inside sentiment so I showed you that earlier so now for my card I just took a pre-made uh, for my envelope I just took a pre-made envelope and stamped out happy Father's Day to you and this stamp is actually one of the dollar stamps that I picked up in the bin at Joann's so I've had that for quite a while and I stamped it out using the distress ink by Tim Holtz the gathered twigs so that's it everybody this is one of the Father's Day cards that I've made thanks for watching everybody bye